Bailey was out fishing at the time when he heard the captain of the distressed vessel radioing for help for the team. He says it took an hour search before the men were found. While monitoring 85, we heard a gentleman in distress um, saying that his boat was taken on water. And um, enough respect and myself was speaking with him. And um, I was traveling back to St. George's. I was nine miles away. And he said, it doesn't look good. So I told the guys, pull up the lines, let's go get him, you know. Um, when I punched in the coordinates that he gave me, I realized he was 32 miles away from me, um, which would have made it 41, you know. But we, we went, we found them, and they're back home safe, you know. Um, we traveled 40, we, found, we, we went to the 40 mile mark, and we found them actually 44 miles away. Um, but um, thank God for this box, this box we had, um, we, thought, we saw this box floating in the water and we realized it came from their boat. It's actually the hook box and stuff and um, we decided to follow the direction where the current was going and as we turned, we saw them standing on the boat. He described the rescue mission as a needle in the haystack. He told me that the captain told me he had a, a pipe was broken downstairs in the boat, uh, one of the intake pipes or something like that. And um, by the time he realized the boat was full of water, um, what, what, why, why he didn't realize the boat was full enough? Because he has two, what they call live wells in the back of the boat, which water is halfway into the boat already, and he didn't realize. He thought it was the live wells that had the back of the boat low, and by the time he realized what was happening, he opened the hatch and he saw smoke, and um, that's when he started to hollow out on the radio, you know. But you know, he is it, the important thing about it. They had all their rations when I picked them up. There was the boat went. Um, belly up. The, the, the bow was in the air bumping like this and um, he, they were standing on the bow. How three of them fit there, I don't know. But it was such a narrow spot and the three of them were standing there with their flares, with their rations um, that could last them a couple of days. They were, they were well, well prepared and which, which I must thank fisheries for ensuring that these things take place. You know, because fisheries always, when they do their checks, they always make sure that you have, you have your rations, you have your flares, you have your mirror and all that kind of stuff. But the guys, I don't know if they could have make it out three days, but I'm just saying it. It's a needle in a haystack and we found them and I, I give God thanks. Sunday's rescue was the second reported sea incident in a three-day period. The Coast Guard on Thursday rescued three fishermen about 40 miles southwest of Grenada after the 50-feet fishing vessel encountered problems. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.